you're a very protective mom and there is a situation with Shaq and a fool and I had really never heard you talk. I knew who you were. I know what, know what your accomplishments were because I'm in sports. I follow sports. I study sports. This was really the first time I've ever heard you talk and step out. And I'm like, okay, when, Norm, when mom step out publicly, oh, there's a problem. Well, I mean, and you got to also understand that he got, you know, I had his, uh, his ghetto card revoked, <laughs> you know. We as African Americans, and we we are as athletes. You know, we come from a fraternity, and we got a code. Right now, once you break that code, and also I told you, Bill, he forgot you in the league. I'm from Flint, so I ain't scared. But he need to know you went too far. And I always, I never apologize for protecting mine. Right. Javel didn't grow up in the hood. Hood. I grew up in the hood. Hood. Right. And so after that whole experience. You know, Shaq got his his ghetto card revoked because he needed to be hood. checked, and he got checked. Javel, Javel, where where I grew up at? Yeah, Javel said where he grew up at. I'm saying you wasn't no you wasn't you wasn't in no no drugs and that oh, violence. Oh, you saying I around. wasn't in the streets? Was, right, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You wasn't in the streets because I I was right there. That's what I'm saying. You wasn't in the streets. You wasn't no hood, you know. We wasn't no hood. You Javel, was you, always you addressed it. You on social media. You thought he stepped over the line also. Um, truthfully, at the time when it had happened, well, when it was happening, I wasn't in a position to to really speak on it to where it would get any any push, any clout. If right. I would have spoke on it early on, it would be like, all right, whoever Javel McGee is. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Shaq. Blah, blah, blah. Right. But when I got to Golden State, and we were winning, I was put in a position to where, okay, I can actually speak right. and have a right. voice and people are actually You contributing on a championship winning team. Exactly. So it gave me that power to be like, all right, now I can actually speak on right. it. Because if I would have spoken on it before, then be like, all right, cool. And it still would have been going on. Right. So I found the opportunity to 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 actually speak on it and 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 things were happening where he was putting post up where it was like I would go coast to coast and miss the layup. Right. And then that's on the show. And I'm like, it's a missed layup. Right. Like that's extremely simple. Right. Like let's not right. let's not overdo it. Right. And it was just doing too much. So I I I, I mean you draw the line somewhere and I had to, you know, I, I, it was it was in the public, so I had to put it out in the public right. and put it on Twitter and say what I had to say. But did you did you and Shaq have a conversation? Did you no, address it? We never had a conversation. We I had, think that's we, a we see each other crossing paths like, all right, cool, what up? But it's never no real conversation. But the thing about that whole Shaq and the Fool era of when I was on there is I didn't realize what it was doing to my career until I got started to move on to other teams. Right. Then I would talk to other coaches and middle of the year they'd be like, I don't I've, I've, I've always seen that Shaq and the Fool stuff and had a different mental of you. Right. And I never knew, like, you're a smart kid, you're extremely uh, vocal, you're a great basketball player. I never, but it was, it was, it was slowly chipping away at my reputation. Right. As a young 24-year-old ba athletic basketball player, young, right. excited, and it was just slowly chipping away with every other coach in the league. Like, no, nah, we don't want him. We see what he's doing on Shaq and the Fool. But, I mean, if you add any low light of any, you can, add, you can right. make a low light of Jordan right now and, and, and if you've never seen a highlight of him, you would think he was the worst player right. in the world. So, I mean, it, it was definitely a, a down spiral ever since I went on that, ever that, since that show aired of my career. Right. People's but, perception. But also, Shannon. Go ahead, I mean, Pamela. Shannon, I want to make sure we, we, we understand this, too. That's yeah. why the gold medal is so powerful. And kids got to see what, what that whole issue was bullying. Okay. And we as African Americans, yeah, we can play the dozens and all that, but then there becomes a, a, a the Bible says there's life and death in the power of a tongue. Right. We are taught to uplift each other and speak truth. Right. And so I had to get in it because of the, the black man that I know I raised. Right. And that, you know, and I'll never let anybody, you know, disrespect and get take it to the hood when we and this is our jobs and we're right. professional. Nor should you. But a people perception of you is their reality sure. if somebody don't know you what they perceive you that's who you are exactly that, and like you said the coaches had this perception because that's what they saw mm -hmm. they didn't know you never met once him. they get a chance to know you like well hold on you're not a dunce you're not a buffoon you're actually intellectual you actually thoughtful for you sure. can actually play you can actually contribute to a winning to winning basketball for sure it's definitely it's definitely it's definitely perception man perception changes everything and 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 
ever since I was, ever since they was like, okay, we're not posting you on that show anymore. All I've been doing is just trying to build my reputation back up, build more and more into my brand, make my brand better and better. And that's all I've been doing ever since. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.